From a scientific standpoint, a human being exists from the moment of conception. There is no question about this. Consider the scientific question, what is a human embryo? There would seem to be five different answers to what a human embryo in the womb could be. Number one, the human embryo is a part of the mother. Number two, the human embryo is not a part of the mother and is of a non-human species. In other words, not a homo sapiens. Three, the human embryo is some unclassified thing, neither of any species nor a part of the mother. Four, a human embryo could be a proto-human being. And five, the human embryo is a human being. Now let's explore the science of each of these options. If the human embryo is part of the mother, scientifically that implies that women reproduce by a form of budding. Budding is the emergence of a new organism from a part of the parent organism. At some point, the baby, a new Homo sapiens, emerges from the human embryo, which prior to the emergence was a part of the mother's body. Budding is an asexual method of reproduction in some unicellular organisms and metazoans. And of course, male budding, uh, that is the budding of Athena from the head of Zeus, was documented by the Greeks a few thousand years ago. But the observation that all human beings arise by female body would be a scientific discovery of the first rank, superseded only by the ancient Greek dramatists. Furthermore, if the embryo is part of the mother, then half of all pregnant women are hermaphrodites during their pregnancy. That is, they have a male part of their body for nine months. This is scientifically ridiculous. The second claim is that a human embryo is not a part of the mother and is some non-human species that is not Homo sapiens. But this assertion, if confirmed, would revolutionize science. First, it is the discovery of the most widespread parasitic disease known to humanity, pregnancy. Second, it shows that one species, you, you might call it Homo embryo, evolves over a period of nine months or so into a new species, Homo sapiens. And it happens billions of times. Finally, with this, we have observed origin of species. Homo embryo speciates into Homo sapiens with each pregnancy. The human embryo is some unclassified thing, neither any species nor even a part of the mother. But if this is right, this is radical science. It implies that a human embryo is a living thing intrinsically outside of classification, outside of science. And what's even more remarkable than that is that whatever it is, it becomes a human being if the mother or the host decides to let it live. We could call it Homo abortus, but then it would be a species within taxonomy, in which case uh, number two applies. Fourth, the embryo could be a proto-human being. But this is a scientifically meaningless assertion. Finally, the human embryo is a human being. Bizarrely, this is the answer that abortion apologists find preposterous. But of course, the fact that a human embryo is a human being is the scientific truth. A human embryo is a human being because it can't, from a scientific viewpoint, be anything else. This science, the science of sexual reproduction, was established in the 19th century, and it is settled science. No different than the fact that the Earth goes around the sun or that DNA carries the genetic code. Life begins at conception. In science, there is no debate. If we are to have an honest debate about abortion, we need to be honest about the science. Human life begins at conception. That is a scientific fact. The only real debate is whether we respect life at all stages, especially when it's most vulnerable.